So yeah, you remember uh, when uh, <laughs> I um, had the shirt double XL and it was like looking really bad and made me look, you know, low key thick. You know what I mean? Um, it shrunk to XL and it fits me almost fucking perfectly. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot less baggy, a um, little bit more revealing because um, it you know kind of sucks to your skin a little bit more. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. Um, and I was just watching, uh, reruns of Deadliest Warrior and, like, shows like that. Like, um, uh, like, uh, Weapons of the World and all this other shit where they basically compare warriors of, like, different eras of fighting and different cultures, societies, civilizations, whatever. Um, and, uh, I think all of them, all of, like, the great ancient societies definitely have a lot to, you know, you know, <laughs> have a lot to compare with each other, you know what I'm saying? Um, and especially, like, the Romans and shit, um, like, the only reason why the Romans were able to get as far as they did is because there were a lot of other, you know, <laughs> like, you know, the Celts, the Gauls, the Vikings, you know, and then you go to fucking the Middle East. You know, you got the Egyptians, you have the Persians, you have the Sumer. Were the Sumerians around with the Roman? No, 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 the fucking Sumerians. Those motherfuckers were gone. <laughs> they were fucking gone. Okay, um, but like the only re the, one of the other reasons why the Romans were like so fucking successful is because of the fact that like there were a lot of things that other societies and civilizations and tribes didn't have that the Romans did, and then all, all those hundreds of years later, following up to their the, the fall of the Romans, that was because everybody else around them had bigger and better technology and advancements in technology and better weapons, you know what I mean, and now the Romans were seen as the fucking weaklings, you know what I'm saying, because everybody else was just like, hey... You remember when you fucking slaughtered, the, slaughtered us all those hundreds of years ago and you acted like you were the shit just because you had shit that we didn't? <laughs> Guess what, bitch? Fuck you. And, you know, they just got fucking annihilated. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the Romans fucking invaded Gaul, which is modern day, now modern day France, they almost got fucked up by the Gauls. You know what I'm saying? Um, Caesar basically wrote <laughs> um, that, like... They ended up winning, but it was a very fierce fucking resistance from the Gauls. Like, they almost had to fucking put the Romans in retreat, basically, is what the fuck he said. Um, and, like, that's one of the reasons why I don't like the Romans, is because of the fact that, like, they thought they were, like, so big and bad, when, clearly, when you have a lot better fighting tactics and a lot better technology for fighting compared to everybody else, yeah, it obviously makes you fucking look like the better guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like having a fucking, like, mini league baseball player go up, go up against a fucking, um, MLB baseball player, you know what I mean? Like, that, that that's kind of, that's kind of that comparison, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, the Romans are definitely not my favorite, um, because they kind of acted like the bully of the ancient world, you know what I mean? Um, and probably a lot of other civilizations, like the Egyptians, fucking held the Persian, the Persians as slaves. Um, at least I, I think. Do not fucking quote me on that. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, but like, each and every single like ancient society has like their own like cool fucking, you know, you know their cool 
of histories to them, you know what I mean? That's why it's so fucking interesting, especially like with war and the art of war to learn about the evolution of it, you know what I'm saying? Because like the origins of swords go all the way back like, you know, five, six thousand years, you know what I'm saying? Like that whole entire concept of a sword is older than the concept of writing, you know what I'm saying? Like before writing and libraries were even fucking invented, you know what I mean? Um, like actually like probably, probably when the Egyptians were just starting to fucking, you know, exp <clears throat> were, were just starting to grow, you know what I mean? Like it goes back far as fuck, you know what I mean? Um, cause like every <clears throat> ancient fucking society, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just like so cool to look at, you know what I mean? And to... And just to think that, like, our society now is going to be considered ancient in, you know, another 1,500, 2,000 years from now, you know what I mean? Um, that's if fucking Earth still exists. <laughs> I don't know if we're still going to be fucking inhabiting this planet in that amount of time. Because I'm going to be dead, you guys are going to be fucking dead, you know? Way long fucking before that. Um... All the shit that we're going to be living to fucking see, though, within this amount of time that we have, all the shit that we're going to be discovering, all that other shit, it's just absolutely fucking insane, um, and, you know, life expectancies keep fucking going up, I'm going to be living to be at least, like, 110, you know what I'm saying, because, like, the average life expectancy of, like, each passing generation goes up, like, by a t between 10 and 20 years, so my grandma is in her early 80s right now, I was about to say early 30s, fuck that, um, cause if that was the case, we'd be stuck in the fucking 60s or 70s right now, um, I'm really fucking glad I didn't grow up in that generation, Jesus fucking Christ, um, <laughs> so my grandma's in her early 80s, and my parents are in their, like, mid to late 40s, and they're expected to be living, like, late 90s, early 100s, you know what I'm saying? So that means I'm going to be living to be, like, 110 on average, okay? That's what my generation's, generation's life expectancy is. It's on average, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's going to meet it, not everybody's going to go, you know, not everybody's going to... Not everybody's going to meet that point, but at the same time, not everybody's going to meet that average expectancy. A good amount of people are going to end up going over that expectancy, you know what I'm saying? And one way of increasing your life expectancy is to stay active and to stay fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, have periods in your life where you, you know, increasingly take fitness seriously, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, it's just kind of like one of the... It's just kind of like one of those, like, you know, it's kind of one of those things that, like, makes you think really deep, and psychologically, you just kind of, like, your mind is just fucking blown, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, fucking, I don't know, um, and I'm not gonna sit, obviously, like, I'm not gonna fucking sit here and act like I'm a fucking scholar on fucking history, or, like, you know, I have a crystal ball to look into, you know what I'm saying? that can fucking tell me what the fuck we're gonna be saying, you know what I'm saying, because nobody fucking does, a lot of people act like they fucking do, but they don't, you know what I mean, um, it's only fucking speculations and fucking predictions and shit, uh, that's, not, that's like the best that we could fucking do for like any kind of situation, especially right now, you know what I'm saying, because the news is, is, with this whole COVID shit, it's constantly, Fuck, like, the news is constantly contradicting what the fuck they were saying before. It's like, yeah, this state is safe for going into red phase to yellow phase. And then, like, the fucking next day, they're just like, no, thousands of people are fucking dying in this state and surrounding states. Shut them down. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I was just talking with my friend, Tanner Slama Show, last night. If things don't start to change, like, if the governors of states... Because it is state governments that have the say in this. It's not the fucking federal government that really has a say in it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's going on in the states. Each state has their own, you know, control in that fucking part of this whole fucking lockdown shit. Um, like, if, if, like, people don't at least try to come up with a fucking compromise, like, yeah, f what the fuck? Uh, 
Oh shit, yeah, I remember that. Um, the fucking Walking Dead video game, that shit was fucking... Oh, fucking... Fucking like jizzed on my fucking pant leg and, and it's just it's just, just fucking oozing down and I'm like stepping in it and it fucking sounds like mac and cheese. <laughs> um <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Um so yeah. Uh yeah, I'm keeping it I'm keeping it a bit quiet today because um you know, because people in my house are like either asleep or trying to relax, you know what I'm saying? Um because we just got done doing like a fuck ton of work yesterday. Because um, I was doing some yard work. Uh, kind of digging up some fucking soil. So my mom could plant some of her flowers that she got for. Uh, was it fucking Mother's Day? Yeah it was for Mother's Day. I mean, probably like a week before that. Um, and it's not even completely done yet. Uh, and it, and <laughs> um, it wasn't like super hard work, at least for me, like my dad's back is sore as fuck, you know what I'm saying, but, but that's not because, that's because he's like not in the greatest of shape, but he's not super unhealthy either, you know what I'm saying, like he's kind of in the middle, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I was trying to fucking tell him, um, when I started getting into fitness, like you should start doing this with me, um, but I completely fucking forgot that school and work and trying to provide for a family are two completely different fucking things, you know what I'm saying, because at least with school, you have fucking like an eight hour schedule and you can come back home and you don't have to fucking worry about that. You just live here. But work, you have to go, come back, go and come back and make sure you get in the fucking hours, you know what I'm saying? Because each, because all of that fucking money counts, especially when you have a house of four and it's like a fucking two, three story house. You get what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't know. I'm probably like... <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So kind of the, the whole concept of, of the fucking, to sum it up is just kind of like, yeah, each ancient society has like its own cool, have their own cool histories. And I like hearing about all of them, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, what are the things that, <laughs> that people in my lifetime are going to fucking live to see? You know what I mean? Like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? just the kind of thing to really make you think deep. I'm not trying to fucking psychologically mind fuck you guys and to think about something you didn't fucking think about. I fucking hate that shit. Whenever somebody fucking brings up something that I didn't fucking think about and they're acting like they're a fucking great fucking philosopher. Yeah, it's cool that you have that kind of idea and you brought up something that I didn't think of. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Just a new way of thinking. But acting like you were like the next fucking... Um, you know, Galileo, well, not Galileo, he was a fucking astronomer. Um, what the fuck was a great philosopher? Uh, I cannot fucking, I, I can't fucking think of one. Um, I forget all their fucking names. Uh, that's all right though. Um, I, I, I forget shit a lot. Um, well, a lot less now. Because, obviously, green tea helps with uh, improved brain function and fucking gut health and fucking digestive system health. And, my God, that shit. My shits have been ha turned from hard-ass logs to fucking Wendy's, uh, <laughs> to fucking McDonald's McFlurries. And they're kind of writing that line of, like, Charlie, like, African chocolate <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end this one here. Um... So, yeah, um, first one of the day, obviously, so yeah, peace.